Hello, I'm here with our head of security, Burley Caroline. By God, she's Burley. What are you frisking them for today, Burley Caroline? Comedy props, Harry. Comedy props? Yeah. Whoopee cushion, big foot, fake doggy do. Suddenly, everyone's a comedian. Fake sick. Oh, sorry, that was me earlier. Oh, give him here. Hmm, is there a problem? Oops! So I've been trying to tell you. What? Your shirt's untucked in the back. Oh, thanks very much. Harry, Harry, oh. Harry. Who? Me? Yes, you. Anyone got a dog? That's right. Not as popular as they used to be. See, my dog. I've been teaching him a few tricks. And the way to train a dog: first time he gets it right, you give him a little treat. So my dog, the first time he sat, I gave him a little treat. I took him and a friend to Alton Towers. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wait a minute, he's too small for all the rides. You're absolutely right. He spent most of the time on the teacups. <laughs> oh, hey, you, Sharon Osborne. Who, me? Yes, you. Please put me through to the next round. Please, please put me through to the next round. You don't know what it means to me. You don't know what it means to him. All right. Actually, I've changed my mind. I want to be a traffic warden. <laughs> Who likes tap dancing? <laughs> <clears throat> Is the snake charm here? His snake's gone deaf. <clears throat> Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> because it's location, location, location. And now, as part of our strand, Vegetation in Unusual Positions, we present a hedge on a skateboard. <laughs> Wait a minute, there's someone here who wouldn't be. <laughs> it's Harry Hill Senior. <laughs> what do you got there, Dad? It's my new character, Ted, the obsessive compulsive bee. <laughs> well, bring him down. He'll be right with you when he's wiped all the surfaces down. <laughs> Get down here now! <laughs> Hurry, I've discovered a cure for baldness. Another one? Oh, yes, but this time it works. You see, I take this blotting paper, put it on your head, then sprinkle these crest seeds on it. I suppose it's worth a try. <laughs> Now, you just have to wait. Mm. It's worked, son! It's worked! Hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. Ooh, Chris, my favourite. What? You ruined my haircut! I can't go out with a flat top. It'll create completely the wrong impression. Get lost, the pair of you! Oh, oh, oh. Mum's birthday coming up and a bit hard up. Got to get her something, but it's got to be cheap. Why not give her a brick? That's right, make your mum's day and save yourself some money when you give your mum a brick. <laughs> Bricks are incredibly versatile. Throw them. Tow them or show them off to your friends. Bricks are available in red, yellow and grey. Bricks. Collect the set and before you know it, you've got a wall. Bricks. It's Lego for grown-ups. Bricks are also useful for stopping burglars. Bricks. 
She didn't slip us. Happy birthday, Mum. It's time to help the aged. Right, the nans are standing by. Best not keep them waiting. I need some kids. Who have we got, Dad? Contestant number one gets embarrassed by loud burps. It's nine-year-old Jack from East London. <laughs> Contestant number two, Wrestling's name is Big Kate. It's eight-year-old Alice from Guildford. <laughs> Contestant number three keeps insects in a glass bottle. It's eight-year-old Aaron from Edmonton. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. He isn't getting any younger, you know. Mind you, neither are they. Kids, join your nans. <laughs> this round is Crab Grab. And apart from crabs, let's find out what's up for grabs in the way of prizes. Dad, what's up for grabs for the kids? Get cramp in your hands, playing the latest games on this Nintendo GameCube. <laughs> And for the Nans, you win two tickets to Andrew Lloyd Webber's hit musical, The Woman in White. Here is what you will have to do. Your Nans have got to grab as many crab sticks as they can using their specially adapted crab grab claws. Once you've grabbed a crab stick Nan, you must run back and put them safely in the lobster pots on the kids' heads. You can only grab one crab stick at a time, and when you hear this sound, game's over. Crab stick grabbing Nans, are you ready? Lobster potted kids, are you ready? Yes! Okay, three, two, one, let's crab grab! Aaron, it's got a lot of support in. Count out those sticks. Uh, Brenda has managed 11 crab sticks. Brenda, too, has got 12. And Semra has got 13. Alice and Brenda, Aaron and Semra, you go on to round two. But we have to lose Jack and Brenda. Come and join me. <laughs> but you don't go away empty-handed. What have we got for him, Dad? We have a mug and a T-shirt each there. Oh. And a home autumn kit. Oh, lovely prizes. Give it up for Jack and Brenda. Time for Plastered Celebrity. Plastered Celebrity. Giant Stufa there. He only goes big when he's angry. Now, inside this plaster is a well-known celebrity. If you can correctly identify him, you can win one of these fantastic prizes. And all expenses paid trip to Narnia. All right, who do you think it is, then? Kelly Holmes. You think it's Kelly Holmes, and why do you think it's Kelly Holmes? Because she's got her arm like this. She's got her arm like that, which is often the way that Kelly Holmes might stand. OK, it's a good one. Kelly Holmes might well be Kelly Holmes. Uh, who do you think it is? Are you, are you sisters at all, you two? Uh, no. No, you're not related. You have very similar markings. Who do you think it is? Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard. And why do you think it's Frankie? Uh, because he's got his leg out. That's why he's kicking a ball. You, because he's got his leg out and it looks a bit like he might be kicking a ball. Very good answers. Yes, who do you think it might be? Matt Lucas. Matt Lucas, because? He's in a wheelchair. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> I'm going to give you a clue, all right? Here is that same celebrity earlier today. Here. It could be Tom Cruise. It could be Tom Cruise, yes. And why do you think it's Tom? Because it looks a bit short like him. Yeah, he's quite short, isn't he? Have you ever met Tom Cruise? No. Yeah, well, you, if you meet him, he's tiny. <laughs> Blasted celebrity, are you any? Of those. No, it's not. I think we're going to have to ask him to come back next time. A plastic celebrity, will you come back next time? Yes, you'll come back next time. Time for round two.
two of Help the Aged. Help the Aged. Help the Aged. We have Alice and Brenda, Aaron and Semra. Our round two is called Bash the Baldy. So who is lurking behind the wall of baldness this week? Dad? Totally chilled, it's Moby. <laughs> he looks good in flip-flops, it's Gandhi. Shaken, not stirred, it's Sean Connery. Cheap at half the price, it's 50 cent. And doing anything to appear on television again, it's Cheryl Tweedy. <laughs> Baldies, uh, thank you. Right, Nans, here's your challenge. You have to slap as many bald heads as you can in the allotted time. But watch out! One of the baldies is a cheeky chappy and may push through his bare bottom. Slap that. Yes, slap that, and it's five points away. If at any point your nan is looking tired, you can shout the word wig and you can change places. When you hear this noise... It's not a wig! Barbara Windsor, the game's over. Take your position, please, Brenda. Baldies, are you ready? Yes. Old Slapper, are you ready? Indeed, I am. <laughs> uh, three, two, one. Best of the ball day! Granny! That's it, encourage them. Granny! 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 Shouting wig! Hold on! Do it off, Brenda, she shouted <laughs> wig. Come on, Alice! It's a wig car. No, sorry! Semra, take your place, please. Ballies, are you ready? Yes. All right, old slapper, are you ready? Yes, Harry. Okay, <laughs> three, two, one. Bash the baldy. <laughs> you notice how I hand the hobbies over the bare bottom. Wig! 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 She shouted, shot wig. Semra, back your gate, please. Alison Brenda, you scored 19. Aaron and Semra, you scored a whacking 28 ball. Oh. So, we have to say goodbye to Alice and Brenda. Come and join me. Can we join me? Come and join me. Because you don't go away empty handed. What have we got for him, Dad? We've got a mug and a t shirt and a library book of your choice. A library book of your choice. <laughs> so bad, Dad. Give it up for Brenda and Alice. There you go. <laughs> And to take us into the break, give it up for Johnny Depp jumping over nine winkles on a micro scooter. Charming, that is. Come back here, you coward. <laughs> Daddy! It's my son from my first marriage, Gary Hill. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Hello, Gary. Don't touch my hair. I wasn't going to touch your hair. I don't want to end up a baldy like you. <laughs> Dead, dead, dead. I went to a fancy showbiz party at Elton John's place at the weekend. Oh, it was beautifully decorated. David Furnish? No, I think Elton did it himself. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. It was a picnic, and there were loads of top stars there. There was even the ex-home secretary. You know, the blind one. David Blunkett? No, he sat on a rug. <laughs> but dead, dead, there were insects everywhere. One of them nearly stung one of the stars from that TV show set in a hospital. Holby? No, it was half a wasp. <laughs> oh, but Daddy, I do like tap dancing. <laughs> no, Daddy, I don't like stop it. Stop it. <laughs> uh, 
But Gary, what else were you up to this week? Well, Daddy, I spent the day in Battersea Dogs Home. Hello, Gary. I'm Laura and I work at Battersea Dogs Home. Oh, great. But I'm after a dog. Do you, do you have any dogs that I might be able to have? What kind of dog are you looking for? I'm after any sort of dog, really. Okay. One that's got a nice face yes. and doesn't bark too much. Well, I think what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at the kennels and look at some of the dogs, but we're going to be very careful and make sure you make the right decision. <coughs> What's your name? Gary, this is Dora. I think she'd really like to meet you. She's a fox terrier and she's oh. really friendly. Give me a kiss, Dad. Give me a kiss. Ooh. She likes you. Look at that. Can you give them tic tacs to freshen the breath? That's what I do. I tend to have a little suck on a tic tac before I go to bed. Don't you clean your teeth, Gary? Isn't that better for you than sucking on a tic tac? Well, who's got the time? So, Sam, what do you like to do? Well, I like to just sit here, really, and maybe have a biscuit sometimes. Maybe have a bowl of water, go out for a walk. But you know, I've been thinking, really, Laura, what you were saying about how much exercise they need and food and all the rest of it. And living in the 14th floor flat, you know, I'm thinking maybe instead I should get a goldfish. <laughs> We're down to only two contestants, Aaron and Semra. Nan's won a pair of tickets to a West End show. Take me! Take me! And Aaron, you have won nothing. We're now going to give you the chance to gamble your Nan's prize. For the star prize, decide to gamble, and your Nan will go home with nothing. <gasps> and both of you will have to take the woodpecker challenge. If you complete the challenge successfully, then of course you win the star prize. Fail at the challenge, and you both leave with nothing. So, what's it to be? Show her how much you love her and let your nan have a night out or grab the goods for yourself. What do you think you should do, audience? <laughs> Gamble! Nan, what do you think you should do? Night out in the town. She wants a night out, Aaron. What are you going to do? Gamble. Gamble, there was no hesitation. Let's play Woodpecker Challenge. Help the ages. Help the ages. Three, two, one, go pet! Time. That's it, you know. Four. Pet. Four. Pet. Deadly accuracy, two out of pet. two so far. Huh? Smell. Pet. 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 Oh, look at that. Pet. 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 All right. Okay, let's see how you've done. Where am I? Pour the juice into the trunk. And let's see how you've done. You've got to get it past that red mark, of course, Aaron. Yes, you've done it! You've won the Star Prize! Give it up for Aaron and Semra. Time now for our big finale number, and tensions mount as Peter and Jordan prepare for their wedding. The big Peter and Jordan wedding finale sketch, featuring Harry Hill as Peter Andre, Harry Hill Sr. as Jordan, Burley Caroline as Vanessa Feltz, Gary Hill as Vanessa Feltz's personal trainer, Dennis, and the giant as a vicar. How oh, where, oh, where is Jordan? How oh, where, oh, where can she be? I'm sure I saw her at breakfast. At this rate, she'll be late for a tea. Peter, darling. Ah, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? Mm, it'll ride up with wear. Where'd you get it? It's my grandmother's. Oh. oh. Hello? Yeah, I'll tell him. That was your grandmother. She wants her dress back. She's freezing. <laughs> oh, flowers. Look, I love flowers. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, there's a bee on my nose. Don't worry, darling. I'll get it. Oh, oh God, no, it's not new. Here, yeah, these flowers aren't cheap, you know. How are you paying for it all? Oh, don't worry. I've sold all the rights of the wedding to the magazines. Hello? We've already said hello. OK. Yes, fine, sweetie. Heat? We'll turn one of the radiators off. Now? You'll have to wait till after the wedding. No, those are the names of the magazines. 
Oh, I see. OK have paid for the flowers, Heat have paid for the food, and Hello have paid for the booze. And what about the dress? Uh, take a break. <laughs> Arriving. <laughs> Hello, Jordan. Hello, Peter. Hey, it's Vanessa, Vanessa Feltz and Hello, her personal Peter. trainer, Daddy. Dennis. Oh, we bought you a wedding present. <gasps> oh, oh, I don't know what to get you. No, I know. I know. I'm open it. Oh, 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 great. A toaster. It's not any old kind of toaster. No, it's a magic toaster. No, it isn't. It's a diet toaster. Diet, diet toaster? toaster? Yeah, it's only got one setting. Burn. I'll never forget the night that we met, Vanessa. And believe me, I've tried. <laughs> Good grief, Jordan, have you seen the time? Where are the rest of our guests? Oh, I forgot to mention, the coach broke down and Liz Hurley was trying to fix the fan belt with a pair of her stockings. Coach arrived. Oh, my hair, it's ruined. Don't worry, I'll, I'll buy you a new one. <laughs> morning. Oh, morning. Morning, Vicar. Vicar. Right, well, we better get a move on. We've only got 20 minutes. I've got a funeral to do. A funeral? <laughs> Come over, yes, chap fell into a vat of rubber. Did try and bury him yesterday, kept bouncing out of the grave. <laughs> take hold of that. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Do you, Jordan, take thee, Peter, to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. Do you, Peter, take thee, Jordan, to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Super. I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I'll wait till later. Oh. I'm busy throwing hints that he keeps missing Don't have to think about it I want a kiss and everything around it But he's too distant I wanna feel a body you can't resist it I know my hidden looks can be deceiving But how obvious should a girl be? I was taken by the early conversation piece And I really like the way that she respects me I've been waiting patiently for you to come and get it I've been wondering if he knows that he can say it And I'm with it I knew I had my mind made up from the very beginning Catch this opportunity so you and me could feel it Cause if you're ready for me, boy, you better Push the button and let me know Before I get the wrong idea and go You're gonna miss me the speed that I control Push the button!